Hey Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so very much for joining me. I do appreciate you guys' viewership, engagement, likes, subscriptions, comments, all of that good stuff. All right, Sagittarius. This is going to be for those of you with Sagittarius placements. Only take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Could be past, present, or future energy. Could also be someone else's energy in your energy field. All right, so don't try to force anything that doesn't fit. Take your story and leave the rest for someone else. This is a collective general reading, okay? Flip the rules if you need to. I'm reading energy, not people, not personalities, not any of that. It's all about energy. And so some of this energy could be you know, entangled. <laughs> Why did I use the word entangled? Y'all got an entanglement? Y'all out here with a little August Alcina? <laughs> Y'all, Jaden Will out here. I don't know why that why that came out, but the energy can be can be combined between you and your person. So some of this may be you, some of this may be them, and some of it may be both of you. All right. So thank you, Spirit. Okay. So what do we have here? We got tug of war, battle of wills. Look, Will's Will Smith. <laughs> Somebody somebody's name could be Will. Um, battle of wills, wits, challenge at odds in and out back and forth energy inconsistent pulled in two directions and hit versus heart definitely could be third party situation going on there sagittarius what do y'all have going on solitude awakening could be dealing with a virgo could be dealing with a libra vibration i'm not taking these journal and bottom of the deck we have regret okay says remorse life regrets lost start making empowering choices could be a gemini you're dealing with what's going on here so we have awakening realization progress your twin is awakening to your connection could be a libra Aquarius or a gemini um then we have solitude retreat introspection silence and go deep within this is somebody you're not talking to who's thinking about you they could be getting counseling Again, could be a Virgo. Vibration, energy, and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. Some of you, this is what happened with you. You raised your vibration. You focused on yourself, and that woke this person up. They regretted walking away from you, losing you. A lot of you have been doing a lot of self-work, a lot of healing with journal here. You could be keeping a gratitude journal. Write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. Yeah, so some of you just put your focus on yourself, raise your vibration. This person energetically felt that, and now they want to rise to the occasion. Although there's been some back and forth, tug of war, hot and cold, in and out, inconsistent, head versus heart. Again, it could be an air sign you're dealing with. Let's clarify these cards. So they're awakening. Could be you. Flip it if you need to. What's going on? What's the um, awakening here? Look at this. Nine of, nine of wands in reverse. Three of wands. This person's been fighting this. They've been so defensive and guarded. And then we got the queen of cups. Unconditional love. Strong feelings for you. You woke them up. Some of you, it's because you put your foot down. Sagittarius, this is your energy with the nine of wands in reverse. Aries energy, and then we have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with any of those signs. That's what woke them up. That's exactly what woke them up and made them realize. Because you were like, you know what? You became downright ornery. Like, you you know, not going to play with me with the Nine of Wands in reverse. That's somebody who, it's like you, what is one thing to stand your ground, which the Nine of Wands upright is standing your ground, right? It's, it's about... Depending your position, fighting to the last, you know, to your last, <laughs> um, the wounded warrior. But it's like, I feel like a lot of you, why, why do I hear who, who you talking to? I, I don't know. I feel like you had a conversation with this person because just the way she's looking back, the three of wands is usually looking forward. This person is looking back and I feel like it's like you were angry with this person. You got tired of them in their mess. And I feel like a lot of you, they said something to you. They did something, especially if it's an air sign. And I feel you looking back like, well, who are you talking to? Because I can I can turn my head around and focus on the future. I got all this love for you, but that's not going to keep me beholden to you. I'm not stupid. What solitude? I mean, you could have gone into solitude. Oh, God. Hold on, y'all. So the card that fell was the Ace of Cups. Like I said, it, it woke them up. Either you pulled back and it woke them up. Well, you did pull back for a lot of you. We have the king. 
Wow, we got the King of Cups in reverse. You have a lot of them realize that they had all these feelings and emotions for you, but they were being manipulative. And they had to go deep within themselves to heal, being emotionally immature, really thinking about the way that they acted. Four pentacles. A lot of you pulled your energy back. Capricorn energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be dealing with. Definitely holding on to you. They went deep within and they realized they didn't want to let you go. Four pentacles is someone holding tight. This is someone being a bit possessive even. They're like hoarding. They're like holding on. Like I'm not letting go. Yeah, I know I've been emotionally immature, but I got all this love for you with the Ace of Cups. It's overflowing. Look at all that water in the card. And they're realizing that they've been immature. They had to do some soul searching to figure that out though. Vibration. Five of Pentacles. Leaving you out in the cold. Taurus energy. Nine of Swords. Going through a dark night of the soul. See, regretting. <laughs> Who else got these same two cards? I can't remember. It was Libra. Some of you could be connected to a Libra. See, they left you out in the cold, but then they, they regretted it because you raised your vibration and you kept it moving. And they felt that energetically. They went through a dark night of the soul. A lot of sleepless nights here. Look at how they're seeing you now. That's the lovers. Their soulmate. Gemini energy. Okay, journal. Which journal? Five of Wands. Yeah, a lot of the conflict you had with this person made you have to go within yourself as well. Y'all both, y'all both had to go within. But yours was from a theirs was forced. Yours was from a more healthy place. Yours was forced too, but it was from a more healthy, empowered place. Theirs was kind of like ego driven, and then they had to like surrender. We have the page of swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, researching, curious. Um a delay in communication, patience. This person is just studying and watching and waiting. Waiting for this opportunity to come back. With the ace of um wands here. They want a new passionate beginning with you. A lot of chemistry. They're thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're like, nobody has made me feel the way that Sagittarius has made me feel. Leo Aries, Sagittarius energy, all this attraction for you. It could be a younger air sign. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius as well, okay? Um, you could have known this person since you were younger. You could have children with them. Bottom of the deck, clarifying regret. We have the Three of Cups. I want to reconcile with you. I regret losing you. Mm -hmm. Don't they always? Don't they always, Sagittarius? Are they always? Are any of us surprised by that? They want to reconcile with you. Let me grab some messages. I wrote you texts, but never sent them. Donovan. They're being head over heart. I've matured so much. Let me show you. Whitney. Whitney Donovan. That's a cool name. That could be somebody's name. We have, um, I can't picture you with someone else. Jack. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no. Yeah, you broke my heart, so I broke yours. A lot of you, that's you. <laughs> um, Alessandro is the name. Bottom of the deck, we have your jealousy smothered me. Matt, and who is before you? Scorpio, I think, just got the same card. Some of you could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. Could also be a younger water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely with that... Um, a king of cups in reverse, they could have definitely been jealous. Somebody was jealous. But I do feel the energy of kind of like getting retribution. Look at this battle of wills. It's a tug of war. I feel like you match wits with this person. Battle of wills and wits. A challenge. Y'all challenge each other. You time enough for this person. You are time enough for them. And they don't know what to do with themselves. They're like... I ain't never met nobody who was my match. It could be another Sagittarius or just another fire sign. I do feel like they have met their match in you. You are time enough for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me get some of my Oracle cards and uh, see what Spirit has to say about this here. Connection moving forward. Sagittarius. Almost to the end. Who I have left? Capricorn and Aquarius and I'll be done. Oh, no, and Pisces. Okay, let me get, get, get through these readings. The next two weeks. Expect communication in the next two weeks. How did I get here? How did 
No, let me stop. I sleep beside someone every night who I no longer love. Longing for you. Ooh, it's so painful. That's salacious, y'all. That's messy. <laughs> They're an ex for a reason. So some of y'all are not going to want to hear this person's mess. I love you deep. It pains me to imagine you with someone else. And see, that's the problem right here. They are imagining you with somebody else. That other card said the same thing. They don't want to think about you being being with somebody else. But a lot of you, maybe that's what you're doing. I told you, you're time enough for them. They met their match with you. You are time enough for them. That's going to be the title of your video. The vibes are weird. <laughs> Some of y'all don't know how to handle this situation because I feel like you... I mean, I'm looking down and this is your card here. It's right side up now, nine of wands. And I did shuffle. But you're still showing up as not taking this person's mess. Your time and I put them, they met that matching you. <laughs> but things feel a bit off, you know? And I just think y'all might be too much alike, Sagittarius. That's why I say it could be a fixed sign. I mean, not a fixed sign. Maybe it is a fixed sign because that came out so clear. I thought another fire sign. But it could also be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, or Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Let's... um. I just saw a 40 and slip when I said that. That is so funny. So that's that spirit saying, nah, it's probably a fix sign. <laughs> okay, let me um, get some advice for you. What does Sagittarius need to know, spirit, about this connection? Something happened in the next two weeks. I'm not going to take those. I'll take this one. We have embrace. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. So for some of y'all, this is, this is your destiny. And once you know it, that's fix sign energy. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. 11 11 fell out at the bottom of the deck what time is it it's 102 hmm. somebody's birthday could be january 2nd november 11th february the 2nd okay okay i just heard december 11th and december 12th could be significant Actually, I feel like anywhere from the 11th to the 14th, that could be some of your birthdays, Sagittarius. Okay. Those are your messages. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment if this resonated with you. You claim it. You like it. You don't want it. Whatever the case, y'all. Engage with the content. It does help the algorithm to pick the video up. I do appreciate your, your views, your likes, your subscriptions, your comments, and all that good stuff. And I will see you all next week. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah, you time enough for this person. They met their match. That's the title of your video. Peace, y'all.